Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez and we are bringing you another science experiment. This time we're going to be making a thermometer. So here are a couple of items that you need in order for this to work. If you need a water bottle and you want it to be a water bottle in order for the straw to stabilize once you insert it. A cup of water, some rubbing alcohol, food coloring, a straw. In this instance, we mark the straw in order to reference where the liquid is rising and some molding clay. All right, so let's get started. Let's grab some of our objects here. And first you wanna start off with the water bottle and the water and the rubbing alcohol. Now, this is an important step because you're gonna to have to equally add the same amount of water and rubbing alcohol into the bottle for this to work. So we're gonna add the water here. And we're gonna measure the rubbing alcohol in this cup. Make sure you're careful with this. Okay, so now we're gonna add the rubbing alcohol. <laughs> this is so messy, y'all. I poured it all over my hand and it kind of stings. Okay, next step is you wanna add a little bit of color. So we're gonna put a couple of drops of food coloring in the water. We're gonna shake it a little bit in order to get that color to become even. There it goes. And this, you will be able to tell if the water rises. So the next step is we are gonna put the straw inside the bottle. And this is an important step. You don't want the bottom of the straw to touch uh, the bottom of the water bottle. So you kind of want to stabilize it and this is what the molding clay is for. So let's explain a little bit about what's happening here. So when I put my hands to the bottom of the bottle, the liquid is expanding into the straw. You can see how high the liquid in the bottle has risen. And this is because alcohol, when it's warm, expands. And so the bottom of the bottle can't hold it in when it's warmer and that's why you get your make home thermometer here. And this is exactly how a regular thermometer works with mercury. I can't believe it worked. I'm so excited. So now I'm gonna let go of the bottom and you're gonna see how slowly the liquid falls inside the straw. And that is because alcohol is no longer expanding since we're not warming the bottle. And this is exactly how a thermometer works as well. When you have colder air, of course, um, you get uh, less expansion of mercury, but in this instance, we added alcohol. So I would say this is one of my favorite science experiments just because it's a little bit more visual and you can really see uh, the liquid expanding in the straw. I hope you learned a little bit about how a thermometer works. This is again, a fun home experience that you can do with your entire family. And it's just cool. Maybe you can compete on who can get <laughs> the water or the liquid a little bit more higher in the bottle. And we're gonna be bringing you many more science experiments. Make sure in the comment section to let me know what your favorite science experiment has been so far. We're gonna have all the objects that you need for this specific science experiment in the comment section below. Give us a big thumbs up and follow us all across the social media platforms. We'll see you back here next time. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.